hello welcome back to my channel today is going to be a stressful day because we're moving out of the tour caravan that we've lived in for the last year and a half so literally everything that we own is in this caravan it's already a tip because i forgot to film so let me just show you what it's currently looking like i remembered that we had things underneath the bed so i was like i don't want to forget about them took it all out and now we have a pile of everything that was underneath our bed not that stuff that stuff so we need to load that into the car before we can actually start boxing all of our clothes and all of the other little things the stuff under the bed was like two suitcases a backpack with all of our birthday christmas cards all the anniversary cards that we've saved for the last six years and i had a folder with all of the important documents in a salt lamp that my friend bought me and santa sacks look at these it has my name on it and then james has one as well so what we're going to do is load all of this stuff into the car we'll bring the moving boxes back and the hoover and then james has got to go to his mum and dad's house because his dad had a jet wash and james is going to be cleaning the outside of the caravan this afternoon whilst i clean the inside one of the gentlemen who lives on the campsite he's going to be buying the caravan because he doesn't want to live in his caravan anymore long story so he's going to be buying it this afternoon around like four o'clock so we've got to get all of our stuff out this morning over to our new home and then come back this afternoon and clean inside and out and get it in like really good condition for him and then yeah hand him over the keys and off we go so let's begin the stressful day that is moving vlog number here one. comes james slowly with a trailer and our boxes for moving out because the ground is actually boggy and my boots i don't know if you can see but they're broken so all of the water and mud is going into my boots so james has come up with a plan to use the trailer to bring the boxes they're gonna get soaked under no, I put a thing down. is that what? is that our cozy <laughs> i need your help getting the bed in into the bin bag your muddy shoes bro i know so we had two duvets here you go so we had two duvets and one of them was under the bed it was like a summer duvet and a winter duvet and we ended up just using one the whole time we were here and the one under the bed has actually gone moldy otherwise we would have given it to somebody else so the landowner has kindly given us a couple of black bin bags and we're going to put the mouldy duvet and then all of our bedding that we're not going to need anymore into the black bin bags we'll pop it in like a trailer and then he'll take it to the skip for us so that's one job saved that is actually grim ill i could literally just pop bubble wrap all day thank you my himalayan salt lamp This is too heavy. Yeah, but I've got my. I can't, James, because I've got my boots on. Look at those muscles. Right, so what we need to do now, now that we've got all of the big stuff into the car, we actually need to pack a suitcase with clothes and all the things that we're going to need for the week. We were supposed to move out today and then move straight into the flat, but our bed couldn't be delivered until next Saturday, which is the 2nd of March. So we can't actually move in until next Saturday now. So for the week, we're going to stay at James's nan's house. And in the evenings after work, we'll go to the flat and start painting the bedroom so that actually the bedroom is painted and it's ready for the bed to arrive. So I guess the timing kind of works that way. I'm going to pack a suitcase for us for the week. 
and then I will get back to you when we're actually like starting to box everything up to go to the flat. <laughs> it's IBS life. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Don't shake spiders on me. Can you hold that? No! Why did you give me a heavy box? Can I have a light? I can't. I want a lighter box. Take the tea towel box. <laughs> want to have to come back for this. Can you take it? No! <laughs> no! James, there will be spiders on there. Don't do that. That's not even funny. I'm not talking to you now. You're going F off. I am stressed. Actually, no, I'm not stressed. I'm tired. I'm being dramatic. I'm like mixing up my feelings. It has taken us two and a half hours to put everything into boxes or bin bags or carrier bags and put them into both of our cars we have filled both of our cars up his more than mine because his is longer and i actually can't open the boot of my car there's something wrong with the wiring so we had to go into the, like the back seat and then lean over the seats and try and switch it's a bit complicated my car has like a few big boxes a bin bag which has my clothes in and then the stuff here is what we're taking to stay elsewhere for a week. So I am going to head over to the flat. Let's go to our new home and put all of our boxes in there. what a lovely day it is right now you should have seen what it was like this morning so when we woke up this morning there was frost on the grass there was ice on our water barrel and our phone said it was like zero degrees don't know what happened this morning but it was basically freezing but it looks like throughout the day it's just kind of warmed up can you see the sky right now it's blue so as you would have seen in the last clip we went to the new flat and took all of our stuff there and now I'm back at the campsite because all that is left to do now that the caravan is empty is we've got to clean it inside and outside. James has just gone to go get a jet wash. I'm going to get started on the inside because we literally, I'm not even joking you, we only have like an hour and a half until our neighbour is coming to get the keys and everything. So I'm going to get started on the cleaning and then James will join me in a bit with the jet wash and get started on cleaning the outside. So... Here we go.
and we are done it is four o'clock in the afternoon or just before four o'clock in the afternoon which is pretty much the time that the neighbor was going to be coming over and we could hand over the keys he actually came back early but he could see that i still had the toilet to do the shower to do and james hadn't finished jet washing the outside yet so he went away and then he'll be back shortly so it's all done finally everything is boxed into the flat we've got the caravan cleaned inside and out i didn't film too much of james jet washing just because I was in here and I did not want my phone getting wet, but we are done. I believe that that is it. After a year and a half of living in the Tora caravan, like we are moving out and we are moving into our first actual home. So this is just crazy to me. I can see the neighbor outside with James, so I better go. Everything is done now. We have handed over the keys to the caravan to our neighbor who We'll now be moving into it and we are literally just about to leave the campsite and then just as we were about to leave i remembered that i hadn't said goodbye to the secret spot this is basically in the corner of the campsite <laughs> bye secret spot what did we say goodbye to caravan's gone caravan gone yeah. everything is done the caravan has been given to its new owner and we have left the campsite so that is all for moving vlog number one and we will see you in moving vlog number two Bye.